fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no. But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That, I can tell you in a word, tradition. One copeck. One 
Kopeka. Last week you gave me two Kopekas. I had a bad week. Oh, and because you have a bad week, why should I suffer? <laughs> and most important, our beloved rabbi. Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar? Of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> Such 
Such diamonds, such jewels. You will see gold. I will find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor widow, alone. No one to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. All I do at night is think of him. And even thinking of him gives me no pleasure because you know as well as I, he was not much of a person. <laughs> Never made a living. Everything he touched turned to mud. But better than nothing. Good evening, Miss Clyde House. But she's busy. You can talk to her later. Oh, but there's something I need to tell her. Later? Oh, Mano, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing. I said later. All right. <coughs> And what does that poor little tail model want with Zyko? Oh, they've been friends since they were babies together. They talk, they play. They play? <laughs> what do they play? Oh, who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> Mother, these are nothing. Yet, you said you had. Ah, children, children, they are your blessing in your old age. But my Naren couldn't give me children. Ah, oh, believe me, he was as good as gold. He never raised his voice to me. But otherwise, he wasn't much of a man. So what good is it that he never raised his voice? Oh, what's the use complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, but not Yenta. Not everyone in the world is a Yenta. Well, I must go and prepare my poor Sabbath table, so goodbye, Golda, darling, and it's been a pleasure talking our hearts out to each other. Yenta, you said you had news for me. Oh, 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 oh I, I am losing my head. One day it will fall off altogether, and the horse will kick it into the mud, and goodbye, Yenta. Yes, of course, the news. It's about Laser Wolf the Butcher. A good man, a fine man, and I don't have to tell you that he's well off. But he's lonely, the poor man. You understand? Of course you do. To make it short, out of the whole town, he has cast his eye on Saito. My Saito? No, the Tsar's Saito. <laughs> of course you, Saito. Such a match for my Saito. But Tevye wants a learned man. He does not like Lazar. Listen to me, Golda. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Lazar discuss it himself. He will win him over. He's a good man, a wealthy man, true, true. So, you'll tell me how it went, and you don't have to thank me, Golda, because besides my fee, which anyway Lazar will pay, it gives me great satisfaction to make people happy. What better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golden. You're welcome. What did she want, Mama? When I want you to go, I will tell you. Finish washing the floor. I wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Metal the Tailor. I didn't ask you. Zidal, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And then after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings... Oh, Yenta, Yenta! Well, somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things for themselves. She might bring someone wonderful and interesting. And well off and important. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a flight.
if I was a pretty, pretty rich title, 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 title man, I'd build a big tub house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. Fill my yards with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the down to see and hear. Squawking just as noisily as they can. And each go quick, quick, quacky, and would sound like a trumpet on the ear. As if to say, here lives a wealthy man. If I were a rich man, he had a giddy, 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 dumb. All day long, I'd be pretty, pretty bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. He had a giddy, 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 dumb. If I were a pretty, pretty rich, title, 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 title man, I'd see. My wife, my Golda, looking like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin. Supervising views to her heart's delight. I'd see her putting on airs and strutting like a peacock by what a happy mood she's in. Screaming at her servants day and night.
Why did you ever bring us some good news? Oh, I only read it. It's an edict from the authorities. Oh, may the authorities start itching in places where they cannot reach. Oh, oh man. man. <laughs> Why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? You stand around and you curse and chatter and don't do anything. You'll all chatter your way into the grave. Excuse me, you're not from this village. No. Then who are you? I am from Kiev. I studied in the university there. Aha! Uh -huh. The university! Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That's where I learned that there's more to life than talk. You should know what's going on in the world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads! He is right, as the good book says. If you spit in the air, it lands in your face. <laughs> That's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's happening in the world. He's right. He's right, and he's right. They both can't be right. You know something? You're a Sorex. <laughs> he's right. He's still wet behind the ears. Good Sabbath, Tevya. Good Sabbath, Tevya. Tevya, the rabbi's order, yes. my cheese? Yes, of course. So, you're from Kiev, Rebbe. Perchik. Uh, <laughs> Yes, so you're a, you're a newcomer here. As Abraham said, I'm a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Excuse me, as King David said, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. That also was Moses. You know, for a man with a slow tongue, he talked a lot. <laughs> and the cheese? Here, here, have a piece. I have no money and I'm not a beggar. It is a blessing for me to give. Very well, for your sake. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, Rapperchik, it is no crime to be poor. In this world, it is the rich who are the criminals. Someday, their wealth will be ours. That is good. If they would agree, I would agree. <laughs> and who will make this miracle come to pass? People. <laughs> Ordinary people like you. Like me. Then, and until this golden day comes, how will you live? By giving lessons to children. Do you have children? I have five daughters. Five daughters. <laughs> Girls should learn too. Girls are people. Ha! A radical. <laughs> I would be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. Well, what kind of great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our times. I'm a very poor man. Food for lessons. Good, good, come, come. You'll spend the Sabbath. We don't eat like kings, but we don't starve either. As the good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Where does the good book say that? All right, maybe he doesn't say that exactly, but someplace there's something about a chicken. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. <laughs> Ah, oh, Debbie, I have something. 
something to say to you. Why should today be different? Debbie, I have to tell you that. Sh sh I'm praying. Laser Wolf wants to talk to you. The butcher? About what? I do not know, only that he says it is important. What can be important? I have nothing for him to slaughter. After the Sabbath, see him and talk to him. But what do you want? If he wants to buy my own milk cow, he can't forget it. Pavia, don't be an ox. A man sends an important message, at least you can see him and talk to him. But what? He wants my own milk cow! Talk to him! All right, after the Sabbath, I will talk to him. <sighs> someone who will sell me his used sewing machine. So in a few weeks, I'll have saved up enough to buy it, and then your father will be impressed with me. But Muddle, a few weeks may be too late. <clears throat> well, what else can we do? You can ask my father for my hand, tonight, now. Sidel, why should your father consider me now? I'm only a poor tailor. And I'm only the daughter of a milkman. Just talk to him. Sidel, if your father says no, that's it. It's final. He'll yell at me. Muddle! I'm only a poor tailor. Muddle. Even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. That's true. Will you talk to him? <clears throat> Will you talk to him? Or I won't talk to him. It's late. Where is everybody? Late. Reptavia. Children, children, come in, come in. We're lighting the candle. Reptavia. Yes, Reptavia. yes, what is it? Yes, what is it? Yes, Mato, what is it? <laughs> Good Sabbath, Reptavia. <laughs> Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Uh, children, come, come. Protect and defend 
Please bring me a bottle of your best schnapps and two glasses. Your best schnapps, Red Blazer. <laughs> oh, what's the occasion? Getting ready for a party? There might be a party. Maybe even a wedding. A wedding? Oh, how wonderful. Maybe I can make the wedding more merry and leave the dancing and so forth. For a fee, naturally. Naturally, a wedding would be no wedding without you and your fee. Good evening, innkeeper. Good evening. We'd like a drink. Sit down, Pietka. A vodka or schnapps? Vodka. Ah, oh, good evening, Tammy. What are you doing here so early? It's Red Laser. He wants to buy my new milk cap. Good evening, Red Laser. Ah, Tevya, sit down, have a drink. I won't insult you by saying no. <laughs> so, how goes it with you, Tevya? How should it go? You're right. And you? The same. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> so, how is your brother-in-law in America? I believe he is doing very well. He wrote to you? Not lately. Then how do you know? If he was doing badly, he would write. <laughs> May I? I guess, yes. Yeah. Have you, I suppose you know why it is I wanted to see you. Yes, and why is it so important to you? Why not? Why shouldn't we talk about it? Uh, why, why no? Why yes? Well, uh, why, why is it so important to me? Don't you know? No, why don't you tell me? Well, I, well, Tevye, you know why I wanted to talk to you. And you say there's no use talking about it, and I ask why not? Well, why yes? Uh, today you want one, tomorrow you may want two. Two? What would I do with two? The same as you would do with one. <laughs> Tavia, this is very important to me. Why is it so important to you? Frankly, because I am lonesome. Lonesome? What are you talking about? You don't know. We're talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy for me. <laughs> <laughs> a milk cow, so I won't be lonesome. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm talking about your daughter, your daughter Zeitl. My daughter Zeitl? Certainly your daughter Zeitl. I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression on me. I like her. And as for me, tell you well, as you know, I'm pretty well off. I have my own home, a good store, a servant. But why do we need to try to impress each other? Let's just shake hands and call it a match. And you won't need a dowry for her. And you may wind up with something in your own purse, too. My own purse? Shame on you! Shame! My daughter's sight was not sought that I would sell for money! Oh, of course, Tevye, you're right. You're right. We won't talk about money. The important thing is to get it done with. And I would be good to her, Tevye. I like her. What do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I never liked the man. Why should I? You could have a fine conversation with him if you're talking about kidneys and livers. On the other hand, not everyone has to be a scholar. If you're wealthy enough, no one would call you stupid. And with a butcher, my daughter would surely never know hunger. Of course, there, there is a problem. He's much older than her. That's her problem. And, and she's much younger than him. That's his problem. I always thought of him as a butcher. I misjudged him. He's a good man. He will try to treat her well. What do I think? What do I think? It's a match. Oh, tell me that's wonderful. Let's drink on it. Oh, uh, uh, to you, my friend. No, no, to you. <laughs> to the, uh, to the both of us. To our agreement. To our agreement. To our prosperity. To our good health and happiness. But most important, to life, to life, the Lachaim. Lachaim, Lachaim, to life. Is to the father I try to be. Is to my right to be. Drink Lachaim, to life, to life, Lachaim. Lachaim, Lachaim, to life. Life has a way of confusing us. The sing and bruising us. Drink Oh, 
Sometime soon, this district is to have a little unofficial demonstration. A uh, pogrom? Uh, yeah. No, just a little unofficial demonstration. A little? Just some mischief. So that if an inspector comes through, he will see that we are doing our duty. Personally, I don't know why there has to be this trouble between people. So well, I'm telling you so that you can tell the others. Well, thank you, Your Honor. You are a good man. It's too bad you are not a Jew. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Tevye. Always joking. <laughs> and again, <laughs> congratulations for your talk. Thank you, Your Honor. Goodbye, Your Honor. Did you have to bring me news like that? On today of all days? It is true we are your chosen people. But once in a while, can't you choose someone else? Well, thank you for bringing my husband for my daughter's title, Lakaya. Jacob, and then we'll discuss it together, all right? Good. Now, Laban had two daughters, Leah and the beautiful Rachel. And Jacob loved the younger Rachel, and he asked Laban for her hand. Laban agreed if Jacob would work for him for seven years. Was Laban a mean man? He was an employer. <laughs> now, after he worked the seven years, do you know what happened? Laban fooled him and gave him his ugly daughter, Leah. So to marry Rachel, he was forced to work another seven years. You see, children, the Bible clearly teaches us you must never trust an employer. <laughs> you understand? Yes, Papa's not up yet? No, Mama. Uh, how long can he sleep? He staggered home last night and fell into bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. We have to do Papa's chores today, so put those away and go clean the barn. Call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Perchick. Do you think so? Although I don't know if the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. And neither, I suppose, would the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. And what do you know about him except that he's the rabbi's son? Would you be interested in him if he was the tinsmith's son or the shoemaker's son? At least I know this. He does not have any strange 
ideas about turning the world upside down. Certainly. Any new idea would be strange to you. Remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. <laughs> you have spirit. Even a little intelligence, perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain? Without curiosity, it is a rusty tool. Good day, Huddle. We have an old custom here. A boy acts respectfully to a girl, but of course that is too traditional for an advanced thinker like you. Our traditions. Nothing must change. Everything is perfect exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing everywhere but here. Here men and women must keep apart. Men study, women in the kitchen. Boys and girls must not touch, must not even look at each other. I'm looking at you. You are very brave. Do you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate to each other without the permission of a matchmaker? They hold hands together. They even dance together. New dances, like this. <laughs> I learned it in Kiev. Do you like it? It's very nice. Custom. Yes, well, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. I mean, good day. Melka Spritzer, what's your name? Hello, Papa. Oh, yes, where's the site? She's in the bar. They tell her to come out. So, we have purchased. How do the lessons go? I think we made a good beginning. <laughs> ah, you're finally up. So, what happened last night except you drinking like a peasant? Did you see Laser Wolf? What did he say? What did you say? Patience. Do you have any news? Patience, woman! As the good book says, good news will wait, and bad news will refuse to leave. And there's another saying... Oh, you could die from such a man. Oh, oh, it's right so. Uh, my lamb, you are to be congratulated. You are going to be married. Married? What do you mean, Papa? Laser Wolf has zest for your hands. Oh, I knew it! The butcher? I knew it my heart today was our lucky day. Oh, dear God, I thank thee, I thank thee. So, Zaito, what do you say? Oh, what can she say? My firstborn a bride. May you live long with him in honor and fortune. Not like that first wife of his, Fruma Sarah. May she rest in peace. She was a bitter woman. Not like my Zaito. My sight of the bride. I must go the get to the book. Mazel tov, You call that a mazel tov? And you a Berkshire, aren't you going to congratulate her? Mazel tov, Seidel. Forgetting a rich man. Again with the rich? What's wrong with being rich? It's no reason to marry. Money is the world's curse. May the Lord smite me with it! <laughs> and may I never recover! My Zaito knows I only have her welfare, don't you, Zaito? Yes, Papa. You see? I see. I see very well. Zaito, my child, why so quiet? Aren't you happy with this blessing? Oh, Papa? Papa? What? What, what is it? I don't want to marry him! I can't marry him! I can't! What do you mean you can't? If I say you will, you will. Papa, if it's a matter of money, I'll do anything! I'll hire myself out as a servant! I'll dig ditches! I'll haul rocks! Only don't make me marry him, Papa! But, but what's wrong with Laser Wolf? He, he likes you! I will be unhappy with him! All my life will be unhappy! But, I'll dig ditches! I'll haul rocks! But we made an agreement with us, and agreement is an agreement! Come 
comforts of life. Well, well, we should have a little joy in our old age after all our hard work. Tapia, may I speak to you? Later, Mato, later. I would like to speak to you. Not now, Mato, I have a problem. That's what I want to speak to you about, Tapia. I think I can help. Sure, like a bandage can help a corpse. Goodbye, Mato. At least listen to him, Papa. All right, you have a tongue to talk. Tapia, I hear you are arranging a match for a title. Uh, he also has ears. <laughs> I have a match for a title. What kind of match? A perfect fit. A perfect fit. Like a glove. Like a glove. This match was made exactly to measure. A perfect fit made to measure? Stop talking like a tailor and tell me who it is. Tapia, please don't shout at me. All right. <laughs> who is it? 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 <laughs> it's me, myself. Him? Himself? Either you're completely crazy or you're out of your mind. He, he must be crazy. Arranging a marriage for yourself? What are you, everything? The matchmaker, the bridegroom, the guest, world into one? I suppose you even want to perform the ceremony. He must be crazy. Well, tell me, please, as for being my own matchmaker, I know that sounds a little unusual. Unusual? It's crazy. Times are changing, Reptavia. The thing is, your daughter Title and I gave each other our pledge over a year ago that we would marry. You... You gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. We gave each other our pledge. They gave each other a pledge. Unheard of. Absurd. You gave each other a pledge. Unthinkable. Where do you think you are? In Moscow? In Paris? Where do they think they are? America? And what do you think you're doing? You stitcher! You nothing! Who do you think you are? King Solomon? This isn't the way it's done. Not here. Not now. Some things I will not, I cannot allow. Marriages must be arranged by the papa. This should never be changed. One little time, I pull out a crop, and where does it stop? Where does it stop? Where does it stop? Don't I have anything to say about it? Or doesn't anyone ask the father anymore? I wanted to ask you for some time, Rob yeah, but first, I wanted to save up for my own sewing machine. Ah, stop talking nonsense. You're just a poor tailor. That's true, Rob Tabia. But even a poor tailor's entitled to some happiness. I promise you, Reptavia, your daughter will not starve. He's beginning to talk like a man. <laughs> but what kind of marriage would that be with a poor tailor? On the other hand, he's an artist, hard worker. On the other hand, he is absolutely nothing. On the other hand, things could never get worse for him. <laughs> They can only get better. <laughs> they gave each other a pledge. Unheard of. Absurd. They gave each other a pledge. Unthinkable. But look at my daughter's face. She loves him. She wants him. And look at my daughter's eyes. So hopeful.
of wonders, miracle of miracles. God took a tailor by the hand, turned him around, and miracle of miracles led him to the promised land. When David slew Goliath, yes, that was a miracle. When God gave us manna in the wilderness, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is the one I thought could never be. God has given you to me. Yeah. 
or may it sink into the earth. <gasps> what a dark and horrible dream. <gasps> and to think it was all brought on by that butcher. Well, all we can, if Grandmother Silent came all the way from the other world to tell us about the, the tailor, then all we can say is that it is all for the best, and it couldn't possibly be any better. Amen. Amen. <laughs> A blessing on our head, muscle tough, muscle tough. As Grandma Sykes will say, muscle tough, muscle tough. We'll have a son in law like no one ever saw. The tailor bought will cotton soil. We haven't got the men. Muscle tough, muscle tough. We had when we began. Muscle tough, muscle tough. But since your grandma came, she'll marry him. What's his name? Good day, Papa. Good day. Fiedka. 
Good day, Bianca.
joy of the newlyweds model and sidle. Oh, May oh, they live together in peace to a ripe old age. Yes. Amen. 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 Ah, dear sir, beloved Rabbi, may he be with us for our many, many years. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to announce that the bride's parents are given the newlyweds the following. A new feather bed. Oh. <laughs> a pair of pillows. Yes, pillow. A pillow. Oh, no. <laughs> and this pair of oh, candlesticks. Oh. 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 Now, let's not in our joy forget those who are no longer with us. Our dear departed who live in pain and poverty and hardship, and who died in pain and poverty and hardship. <laughs> Body of tears! Let us be merry and content, like our good friend, Laser Wolf, who has everything in the world, Except the brow. <laughs> well, in fact, Laser Wolf has no ill feelings. Uh, he has a gift for the newlyweds, and he'd like to present it himself. Come, oh, Laser Wolf. As he said, I have no ill feelings. What's done is done. I'm giving the newlyweds five chickens. <laughs> One for each of the first five Sabbaths of their wedded. Oh. And Laser, you are indeed a decent man. On behalf of my daughter and a new husband, I accept your gift. There's a famous saying that goes... Red Tavia, I'm not marrying your daughter. I don't have to listen to your saying. Just listen for a minute. I was only going to say... Why should I listen to you? A man who breaks an agreement? Oh. Oh. Now, now, Laser, in the middle of a wedding... I have a right to talk. What right? This isn't your wedding. It should have been! It should have been! It should have been! Stop! Rabbi, Rabbi, say something. I say, I say, let's sit down. We've all heard the wise words of the Rabbi. Now, I'd like to sing a little song. You can keep your diseased chickens out. Leave my chickens out of this! We made a bargain! We drank on it! We drank on it! and told me that her grandmother was a big lord. We drank on it! We drank on it! We had a bargain! Why? For herself. Why not? Yes, they love each other. Love. Terrible. He's a radical. What happens to the match? Oh, yes, I know. Let's all sit down. <laughs> Musicians, <laughs> play a dance. dance at a wedding. But with a girl. This is what comes from letting a wild man into your house. He's not the wild man. His ideas are a little different. That's it's all. a sin. It's no sin. Ask the rabbi. No, no, Ask no, no, him. No, 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 no. Dancing? Well, it's not exactly forbidden. You'll see, it's not forbidden. And it's no sin. Now will someone dance with me? <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, my God. 
Ontario. But the orders are for tonight. For the whole village. The whole village. The whole village. My house. Stay. My home. You understand. Of course. Come, men. That was quite a dowry you gave my daughter at her wedding. Was that really necessary? Anyway, it's been two months since Zaito and Moto have been married. They work very hard, but they're as poor as synagogue mice. 
But they are, they are so happy together, they don't realize how miserable they are. <laughs> Otto keeps talking about a, a, a sewing machine. Dear God, I know you are very busy with wars, revolutions, floods, plagues, all those little things that bring people to you. But couldn't you take a moment from your catastrophes and get it for him? How much trouble would it be? And why you're in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg. Am I bargaining you too much? I'm sorry. As the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> I do have to. They expect me in Kiev tomorrow morning. So you told me. Then goodbye. Great changes are about to take place in this country. Tremendous changes, but they can't happen by themselves. So naturally, you personally feel that you Not have... only me. Jews, Gentiles, people hate what is going on. Don't you understand? I understand, of course. You want to leave, then goodbye. Huddle. Your father. The others you think that would happen at Seidel's wedding was a little cloudburst, and it's over, and everything will now be peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Pogroms, violence, whole villages are being emptied of their people, and it's reaching everywhere. And it will reach here. You understand? Yes. I... I suppose I do. I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. Then goodbye, Perchik. Before I go, there's a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? A political question? What is it? <laughs> the question of marriage. <laughs> In a theoretical sense, yes, the relationship between a man and woman, known as marriage, is based on mutual beliefs, a common attitude, and a philosophy towards society and that... And affection. And affection. This relationship has positive social values. It reflects a unity and a solidarity and that... affection. Yes. And I, personally, am in favor of it. You understand? Yes. I think you are asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense. <laughs> yes, I am. I was hoping you were. Then I take it you approve, and we can consider ourselves engaged even though I'm going away? I'm very happy, Huddle. Very happy! tell myself that I had everything, but that was only half true. I had an aim in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. Die for some 
to, to perch and huddle. Well, <coughs> well, they uh, they seem to be very fond of each other. Well, well, I decided to give them my permission to become engaged. I have to go inside now. What, just like that, without even asking me? Who asked you? I'm the father. Who is he? He's a pauper. He has nothing, absolutely nothing. I wouldn't say that. I hear he has a rich uncle. <laughs> a, a very rich uncle. He's a good man, Golda. I like him. What's more important, Huddle likes him. Huddle loves him. So what are we going to do? It's a new world. New world. Love. Golda. Do you love me? Do I not? Do you love me? Do I love you? With our daughters getting married and this trouble in the town, you're upset, worn out, inside, go lie down. Maybe it's indigestion. Golda, I'm asking you a question. Remember, per- 
muddled. Well, I just heard that Muddle's been arrested for dancing at the wedding. No! In Kiev! With all his strange ideas, remember Tidal's wedding. Where Tevye dead for Golda? Well, I just heard that Tevye's been arrested and Golda's gone to Kia. No! God forbid! She did! She did! Listen, everybody, listen! Terrible news! Remember Pritchett? Yes! Golda started all the trouble. So? I just heard from someone who should know. Golda's been arrested, uh -huh. and Huddle's gone to Kiev. Uh -huh. But to study his dancing, uh -huh. Tevye's acting strange. Uh -huh. Sprinter has the measles, uh -huh. Bianca has the mumps. Uh -huh. And that's what comes from men and women dancing. Far from 
came by the dinner to treat my daughter well. Tell him that. Papa, God alone knows when we will see each other again. Then we shall leave it in his hands. shall seek his own kind, which translated means a bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? The world is changing, Papa. No, Papa. Some things do not change. Some things will never change for us. We do not feel that way. We? Viet and I. We want to be married. Married? <laughs> do you know what that means? Marrying outside of the faith? But, Papa. No, Papa. Never talk about this again. Never mention his name again. Never see him again. Never. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. I understand you. Ah, there you are. It's almost time for supper. Let's go, Papa. I want to see about those little sheep first. Oh, it's late. You can see it later. Rosa, don't make me angry. 
Because when I get angry, even flies don't dare to fly. I'm very frightened of you. After we finish supper, I'll faint. Let's go. Go. I am the man of the family. I am the head of the household. And I want to see Muttle's new machine now. All right, now we can go. <laughs> that I do. The right to be sick, the right to be hungry, the right to work like a horse. But dear God, I'm sick and tired of pulling this cart. I know, I know. I should push it a while. Taco! What? Taco! What, what, what is it? It's Hava. She left home this morning with me God. What? I looked everywhere for her. I even went to the priest. He said they were married. Married? Yes. Yeah. Go on, daughter. We have other children at home. You have work to do. I have work to do. Go home. But how? Hammer is dead to us. We will forget her. Go home. <laughs> Little birds. Little Havala, I don't understand what's going on today. Everything is all a blur. All I can see is that happy child. What a sweet little bird you were, Havala, Havala. Little bird, little Havala, you were always such a pretty little thing. Everybody's favorite child. Gentle and kind and affectionate. What a sweet little bird you were. Avala, Avala. Can I turn my back on my faith, on my people, 
If I try to bend that far, I will surely break. On the other hand, there is no other hand. No other. Eden. After all, 
What do we have here? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A hat. A pan. A broom. A hat. Someone should have put a match in his place years ago. A bench. A tree. So what's a stove? Or a house. People who pass their own Tevka don't even know they've been here. brains he wasn't blessed with. But in my sleep it's a sign, right? So somehow or other I will get to the Holy Land and do you know what I will do when I am there? I am a matchmaker, no? I'll arrange marriages, yes? So I will go to the Holy Land and I will help my people to increase and multiply. <laughs> it's my mission. <laughs> so goodbye, Golden Dolly. Goodbye, Yenta. Be well and go in peace. Maybe next time we meet, it will be on happier occasions. Uh, 
Meanwhile, we suffer, we suffer, we suffer in silence, right? Of course, right. Leave. It sounds so easy. We'll be together soon, you'll see. Munzo, Zaito, the baby. That Munzo, he's a person. And Hummel and Parchik, when will we ever see them? Will they visit us every Sabbath from Siberia? You see what she writes. He sits in prison, she works. Soon he'll be set free, and together they will change the world upside down. They couldn't be happier. And the other children, they'll be with us. Not all. Oh. Go to finish. We have to leave. I still have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? I do not want to leave a dirty house. <laughs> well, Tavia, I'm on my way. Uh, where are you going? Chicago, in America. <laughs> my wife, Truman and Sarah, makes she rest in peace as a brother there. Oh, that's very good. I hate him. But the relative is a relative. Well, goodbye, Tavia. stay among people who could do such things to others. We wanted you to know that. Papa? Mama? Yes. We are also moving. Some are driven away by edicts. Others by silence. Come, Papa. God be with you. God be with you. We will write to you in America if you like. We will be staying with Uncle Abram. Yes, Mama. We will be staying with Uncle Abram. We will be staying with Uncle Abram. The whole world has to know our business. Stop yelling and finish packing. We have a train to catch. I don't need advice from you. Saito, don't forget the baby. The belt is ripped up. The we have to go on a, on a, on a train in a boat.
Thank you.